As the IT environment is becoming very complex with the introduction of new technologies such as hybrid cloud, containers, microservices, STN, NFE, the IT operations team is challenged with the lack of visibility into these entities. Fixstream addresses this problem by providing an auto discovery solution that is agentless and it's highly scalable. It can discover up to 2000 entities within approximately 30 minutes time window. In order for the discovery to begin, there are two input that the user has to provide. One is the service account, which is a set of read-only accounts that has access to talk to the devices and collect the data uh, using protocols such as SNMP, SSH, uh, Telnet, um, Windows uh, using WMI and PowerShell, and varieties of API-based data discovery that is done uh, by connecting with the APIs for the orchestrators and controllers such as uh, EMC, Navisphere, VMware vCenter, UCS Manager, so on and so forth. Uh, likewise, the cloud technologies are being discovered simply by connecting with the APIs uh, such as OpenStack, AWS and Azure. Now, the other piece of information that you have to provide to define the boundary of the discovery is an IP address range uh, or a list of subnet uh, FQDN, for example. Uh, the, the frequency at which the discovery is done is highly customizable by the end user based on the type of environment they have. Once the discovery process is, is set up and complete, the first thing the discovery process provides is a full-blown inventory of your environment, whereby every compute, network and the storage devices are auto-discovered by the discovery process and it is represented in an IP address view by subnet. So for example, if I select this particular subnet, you see the corresponding entities quickly represented in, in subnet by subnet. For example, if I take my mouse to this particular device, this is an Arista switch and you see all the details about it. Likewise, if I take my mouse to this particular entity, this is a Cisco switch. Similarly, if you take your mouse to a different um, dot, it shows you uh, a compute device managed by OpenStack. You can also query different information by simply uh, selecting the filter on the left hand side. For example, if I select container, very quickly it will show you all the host where containers are deployed and by taking my mouse over to the dot, it will show all the details about them including all the uh, Docker services running, the model, the vendor, the host and IP address. The same information is also represented in a device view which is categorized based on device type and device subtype. Uh, in our US data center we have this many number of devices which are categorized by compute, network and storage and further broken by the device subtype. For example, compute has this many VMs, hypervisor, uh, bare metal servers, Docker containers, whereas network is further categorized by the virtual and the physical network device subtype, including uh, vSwitch, uh, physical switches, gateways, HSR fee, uh, virtual network, uh, etc. And similarly, storage is categorized by data store, disk, volume, lawn, controller port, and so on and so forth. Um, there is a tabular view that shows for every entity the discovery process discovered every information that, that it collects. And you can further also customize your view simply by going to the column tab and then selecting or unselecting any specific column that you want to either add or remove to this view. We also have a connector with major CMDBs like ServiceNow whereby we are ingesting this data real time uh, into the ITSM CMDB to, to further elevate the usefulness of the ITSM activities, for example, asset management, incident management, change management. Once the data is stored and it is uh, correlated in the backend database, there are many use cases that the customer can derive from there. Uh, for, in, for example, there is a device group uh, view that allows the customer to, to build a uh, device group that is very, very useful for operational activities which are specific to domains. Uh, you can uh, go to the manage group tab and you can, let's say, for example, you can create a device group for all your network devices simply by going to the device type and using the and and or expression, you can say um, network 
and you can say the vendor equal to uh, Cisco or Juniper and you can give it a name and that device group becomes another filtering and overlay entity across all the screens all the different visualization that the platform provides for you there is another very useful feature that the platform provides is the data explorer view this is very very powerful for any auditing and compliance and reporting sort of activities for example if i want to build uh, a compliance report for every vendors and every version number across compute network and storage because i want to find out any out of compliance out of support sort of scenario i simply go here and click on um, device type and host uh, host name and uh, platform and vendor and version and click submit and very quickly you can see by different device type by vendor what are the different version number that i have deployed across my entire hybrid environment at a single place that allows me to quickly go do the analysis to identify out of compliance out of support scenarios so i can have a very meaningful conversation with my vendor so in summary the auto discovery process of fixed stream ai apps platform gives you the single pane of glass view the single source of truth for you to be able to do a lot of automation around how you do daily operational activities including troubleshooting compliance planning and management thank you